have things to talk about. Number one, Tom Sandoval has spoken to TMZ again. Sans mustache, but with a squirt. They had code names for each other. We're going to break it down. Ariana is seeing a new dude. And I, of course, stalked his social media totally legal so that you guys don't have to and a few other bravo stories so let's get into it if you like what you see come and get it with me i know you deserve all you want because your heart's made of gold but don't wait till you're old if you want it i get you some. hello everyone and welcome to the bravo breakdown with jolene stand-up comedian and Bravo super fan Jolene Lunzer here to break down all things happening in Bravo news and give you my commentary with a twist of the comedy. If you guys have been here before, you know the drill. Hit that like. It helps me in that algorithm. A algorithm. A algorithm. Algorithm. I may not be the first person to bring you this information, but I hope to be the most entertaining person. And I am very opinionated. That's my Tom Sandybot was at LAX and a new guy asked him a couple questions about Ariana's new dude and Rachel Raquel allegedly being in rehab or therapy or Miraval Spa where Kelly Dodd hit Shannon Bedore over the head when she had that bowl over her head and they were doing a sound bath or a tongue lash. I don't know what was happening, but you guys remember on The Real Housewives of Orange County. Tom Sandy Butt talking to TMZ, but it's a new guy. Let's get into it. Oh man, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Right away, I love Tom Men. I'm sorry, bruh. So I think they found one of Brock's friends in Austria or Australia, and now he's doing the interviews. Shout out to Brock's friend, allegedly, whatever. Also, I love the people in the background, like this dude, the security guy. He's like, now who the F are they talking to? Because you know, at LAX, I'm sure a lot of the employees are like, oh, yes, really? Another one, but I love this guy. He's on his way to lunch or on his way to quit or on his way to just, you know, keep working. And he's like, well, what are they talking about? You know, you can, but he looks clearly annoyed. Like even he's like, mm, is Sandoval that big of a celebrity that you have to follow him in LAX? And Sandoval says, yes, I am. He kept eye contact for an uncomfortable amount of time. Okay. So here's Sandoval walking up. Hey, hey, there's old dude. Shout out to him. I think his name is Butch. Okay. I'm just going to call him Butch. What's up, Butch? But his real name is Howard. All right. Howard's like, what the frick? Maybe he just checked, you know, he got paid. Maybe it was payday. And he's like, they don't pay me enough for this shit. Yeah, see these mustache and then mustache list. Dudes drinking squirts like serial killers and their sunglasses inside. What is this bullshit? And he's looking, he's looking. He's like, get out of here. Do I have to get my security on? Get him. Get him, Butch. And then we have Evan. I'm just going to say that's his name. He's right behind him. He's going on a trip. He's probably waiting for his daughter or his wife or his daughter and wife or a girlfriend carrying her hoodie. Maybe it's his. We don't know. We also don't judge. Yes, we do. He's looking over and you know, he's a husband who's forced to watch a little bit of Bravo. And he's like, damn, it's that Sandoval guy. My wife's going to be pissed. She was in the crapper when he walked by. Oh, God. Well, let me just try to see what's going on, suss out the situation so I can tell her exactly what went on. Let me get in the video here, All right? Apparently mustaches aren't happening anymore, so I'm gonna shave mine. I gotta ask, do you think everyone should move on from this whole situation? Yeah, I think they should. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, do you think everyone should move on from this situation? Yeah, I think they should. I am sure you do, Tom Sandoval, but guess what? We're not going to, especially after that interview you just did with Howie Mandel, and people need to quit saying, Move on from this scandal of it all. It's still happening. The season, the show, it's it's a marketing tool for the show. So we're going to still be talking about it. So anyone who's telling you that you shouldn't care about this, you shouldn't talk about this, what are, what are they talking about? It's still happening. It's not like the season's been over for months. The season has just really begun in the scandal of things. I mean, we don't have the reunion until I think May 24th. And today is the 19th of April. So it's crazy for people to want you to stop talking about something that's still currently trending and on the television show in which they get paid for. That to me, I don't know. I think there's some crazy PR stuff happening behind the scenes with Rachel Raquel and Tom Sandy Butt. And I wouldn't be surprised if Bravo was behind trying to save this poor man from himself and clean up, you know, his image so that they could keep him on the show. 
it's happening on the show currently. The show is airing. We are finding things out daily. Like, did you know Rachel Raquel and Tom Sandy Butt had code names for each other on the phone so that when they saved each other's numbers, Ariana wouldn't find out. Rachel Raquel's secret name for Tom Sandy Butt was Tom Sandy Butt. No, it wasn't. We don't know. We have to sleuth that out still. They don't know that. But we do know, allegedly, that the name he saved Rachel Raquel under was Jamie. Huh? Jamie? How dare you do that to Jamie Lee Curtis? How, what in the Activia is going on over there? Okay. I, could be my buddy Jamie. Could be my buddy Jamie. You too much was made of it? Um, I don't know. You just surprised us. <laughs> do you think too much was made of it? Tom Sandy, but. Oh, I don't know. I just got this Von Dutch and my grandma's sunglasses. I'm not, I'm not really, oh, I'm exhausted from making all this money off of this show and stuff. I'm just, ugh. it's like I'm on a reality show or something. I don't know. It's like I just did Howie Mandel's podcast and all over the situation again and exposed things about Ariana I shouldn't have that are probably lies. Ugh. It's still continuing this far long. It's ridiculous, man. Um, the people it's ridiculous, man. Did he just scratch his sandy balls? Oh my god, seriously. I think they should. You think too much was made of it? Um, I don't know. You just surprised it's still continuing this far long. It's ridiculous, man. Scratching something. Um, oh, yeah. you guys, here comes Evan. He's like, the wife said she's already upstairs. I got to get up there. She said, follow Tom Sandy Butt up the escalator. So here he comes. The people that are perpetuating it the most are uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the squad of it all. Huh? The squad of it all? Is he blaming AOC for this? <gasps> Sir, how dare you? Are the girls involved? Yeah. All, yeah. all the, uh, yeah. You, you, you see the photos? You, you see Ariana's kind of moving on? Yes, I love that. Two things. He's blaming, like, Sheena and Katie and uh, Lala and the women. Because if there's not a woman to blame, Tom Sandy Butt is not happy. New thing is that, you know, as a cis male... Um, Did you say cis? your voice yell to whatever you feel entitled to do. But as a cis... As a straight male, if I was a woman, I could do that. If I was a gay male, I could do that. But as a straight male, if I raise my voice, it's wrong. Also, they're asking Tom Sandy, but about Ariana's alleged new fling, whether it's become something serious, whether it's just a rebound. Boy, oh boy, we're going to look at some pictures here. And she has found one sexy man friend that she was making out with at, <laughs> coincidentally, LAX. And also... Coachella. But let's see how okay Tom Sandy Butt is with Ariana having a new man. Yes, I love that. Yes, I love that. I love that so much. I love that. Is that what you want? Yes, I do. That's what I want. Because I want people to forget about my indiscretions that happened for seven months or seven years, depending on the timeline that Rachel Raquel and I will never come clean about. I really do. So you're happy for finding potentially a new guy and that sort of stuff? Yes, I'm really happy. Of course he says he's really happy now. But that old hindsight 2020 is probably going to come back and bite you here in the next year or so. But that's just Auntie Jolene speculating, of course. And yes, I think that he is happy because it sounds like he threw Ariana out a long time ago in his mind. But like in the Howie Mandel interview that he did, he was like, well, like I was totally like giving like, you know, got like uh, signs. Like, in, like I thought Ariana like knew that like I wasn't like in there anymore, but like apparently like she didn't cause I like didn't say it. I didn't like break up with her, but I like, I tried like one day I like laid in bed and cried and like was like, I can't do this anymore. And she was like, what? Like, what can't you like do? And he was like, Sudoku, what Sudoku, whatever. I can't even pronounce it, but it's hard. Do you text her and sort of like, you know, I'm glad. No. no. I mean, good question. Does he text her? <laughs> no, sir. They have a go between to see who's going where in the house. Ariana doesn't want to talk to him. He owes his mom allegedly a quarter of a mil, and he stole his grandmother's sunglasses, like we talked about. Who does that? Get your ass up and work. Also. Let's pick up and look at 
the guy in the background and he's doing the I love you Jolene as the cameras are going by. No one takes Tom Sandy butt seriously. Everyone in the background <laughs> of this airport is like, uh, whatever. Hey, you think uh, Maravel kind of did you dirty posting that thing? Yeah, I think they were really unprofessional and uh, I think it was pretty tacky for a place of that uh, nature to be, you know, that quality caliber to do things like that so are you gonna take any sort of action against them no okay so what he's talking about here is the miraval spa and wellness center from the real housewives of orange county where they went and it was like a high class rich person wellness retreat where you could do sound baths and suction cups and you could get your auras or your genitals reikied a really good time allegedly rachel raquel might be there she might be somewhere else allegedly tom sandy butt was supposed to go meet up with her maybe possibly at miraba miraval miraball mira money at the mira money resort and spa but mira money put out an instagram post kind of hinting at them coming and they were like you know that it's it these are the best days of our life tom sandoval then hit his stories he wrote more to miraval than he ever wrote to ariana he was more passionate about the injustice that the mira money resort and spa did against him and his sacred bambi eyed babe rachel raquel than he ever was about his huge cheating deception scandal scandal he went full karen illegal search I'm not, I'm, illegal, uh, illegal you can't have the first illegal if you search. kick me you're gonna go to jail illegal. so i was like wow tom tom sure is in his feelings about it we'll have a good oh, also, can I just ask, how's raquel holding up man i don't know man there's no comment on that one how's raquel holding up man i don't know there's no uh, comment on that one i was gonna go you know get it in as they say as the kids say as i say but uh mirror money resort and spa totally cock blocked me so thanks a lot even though i'm still probably headed somewhere near her now because according to tom sandy but his tour of concerts for karaoke doesn't start until may are you, are you going to see her no no liar all right man hey thank you tom bro i appreciate you man you're a good dude do you want me to explain to you hindsight being 2020 you got one of them accents which like means you're like probably like you know pretty like smart like like me you know like i have had a really hard like spring like i couldn't go to like coachella like i was gonna like head there but then instead i hung out with billy she was on the cast remember her a couple seasons she might have dated ariana's brother allegedly i don't know so like it's been hard for me because i like love coachella like i love it like i love it almost as much as i love Tom, Sandy Butt, and the most extras, and as much as I love Rachel Raquel, who's the sweetest, smartest, most witty woman I've ever met in my entire life. And I'm just like really proud of how far I've come. People say, or like, I'm finding, or no, people, what did they say? Are you like, like finding yourself? No, it was something, maybe you'll probably this. Oh. But um, no, 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 it was, um, this is like, I'll rephrase. Um. Speaking of Billy Lee, it's me, Billy Lee, who you all might remember for being on the season of Vanderpump Rules where Lala got in Rachel Raquel's face and we're like, you're a Bambi eyed bitch. <laughs> Billy Lee was seen this weekend when everyone else was Coachella-ing, she was seen hanging out with Tom Sandoval. Some people took issue with that. Shout out to cc.loves.u on Instagram, where I got this wonderful little um, picture and meme of it all. And one of the people that took issue with it was Kristen Doty, who we know does not pass up an opportunity to drag all things scandal. So Kristen Doty posted to Billy saying as she cried at ariana's house days after ari found out shaking my head uh 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 now billy lee is like oh no 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 no, we're not gonna do that billy lee says at kristen doty yeah i was crying because they're both are my family which sounds like meredith marks man my family for my family i have to do this for my family i was crying because they both are my family it was sad and still is, exclamation point. What were you doing while I was crying? 
literally taking selfies with everyone, including Ariana. Like, who does that exclamation point? Question mark. It felt like a funeral, and you were taking selfies. Read the room. You are friendship is fake. Ooh, you know you hate when there's like a clap back, and then the grammatical will just will skip that part really. Late. Your friendship is fake and performative. <gasps> I'm kind of here for the two of them just fighting it out. I mean, when I first saw Billy Lee with Tom Sandybutt, I was like, "What is she doing? What is going on? What's happening?" But now I'm just like, I got too much to care about. This is probably the least of my cares. It, you know, everyone in this friend group is most likely going to take the side. Would I ever take the side as of Tom Sandybot? No, never. Uh, uh-uh. not worth it. I don't care. However, this could also be a little ploy or work being done by Bravo to have someone film with Tom Sandoval in the future, or maybe Billy just likes Tom Sandoval more. <laughs> But then the paparazzi said that she stayed over at his house. And as you can see, here's nighttime and then daytime with a dog. She leaves. So he's just having all the ladies sleep over. And I'm like, okay, Richard Raquel is like at the Rahab, sir. I mean, what? Huh? (laughs) But maybe it's just platonic because you know how good Tom Sandoval is with his platonic lady friends. Totally. So then all this made me curious. Okay, so Billy Lee is saying that she considers Tom and Ariana to be both family. So then I checked out Billy Lee's Instagram to see if she was following said family. Turns out she's following Tom Sandoval, but not Ariana anymore. And the same goes for Ariana, who is not following Billy either. Now let's talk about Ariana and her new dude. So allegedly Ariana has met a man that she has been making out with all weekend at Coachella. He has since went back to New York where he lives and she has since went back to LA. This is her dropping him off at LAX where they were like, ooh, kissy, kissy. And shout out to glorified gossip girl on Instagram for posting this meme, a look of finally being content at the airport. Ooh, I mean, he's got the hands on the exposed waist and they are hugging and a kissing. These two also are wearing matching sneakers. Yes, they, they were at some place with an escalator and they posted a picture of themselves in matching sneaks. And then also Ariana's friend Brad posted a picture of them at Coachella with the matching sneaks. And if you're wondering who is the cutie Ariana is making out with, his name is Daniel Y. And she allegedly met him at that wedding she went to soon after Scandival broke, uh, the wedding she went to in Mexico for a friend. They were introduced. And since then, she's been braiding his hair, I'm sure. Just... I saw this picture and I was like, I get it. I get it. I get it. And then I saw this picture and I was like, I really get it. I really, really, really get it. And I think everyone should get it. It's, I mean, they're a good looking little couple. And clearly he's going to be able to like throw her up in the air, throw her on his shoulders when they're at a music festival. Now, interesting fact about Daniel Y is that he is a fitness instructor, person, influencer, obvi. Look at his body. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Ariana's really into fitness and he is also a bartender. So I'm with the bartender. So they have that in common. Ariana's got her cocktail book. I mean, it would be very easy. I don't want to, you know, jump ahead, but to just slide Daniel right into Vanderpump rules. Uh, We'll see if this ends up being just a fun rebound or a longer commitment. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now in Bravo news that is not scandal related, I know that exists. Teddy Mellencamp recently claimed that she had a one night stand with Matt Damon. Wow. Thank you, Teddy. It's everything I never needed to know. I'm sure Matt Damon's like, cool, I'm married and I have a bunch of kids and your name was 
awesome. What is that supposed to get your spot back on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or Real Housewives of Orange County, which I think you're allegedly trying to jump on that train too. Speaking of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Erica Jane has accepted, allegedly, a Las Vegas residency. Huh? Yes, that's right. Erica Jane is going to be doing a show called Bet It All on Blonde, which, you know, we'd be a lot more excited for if, you know, all that other stuff didn't happen with her husband and her and the money and all, all the, I just, I didn't want to get back into that. I don't give a f about anybody else but me. Oh, wow. She's rewarded with a Las Vegas residency. Are they just giving those out now? Because I'd like one. I would definitely like one. And this is all going to take place at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino at the House of Blues there. And it's uh, select dates between August 25th and December 16th of this year. Erica Jane, Las Vegas residency. What do you guys think? Are you going to go? Is it going to sell out? Are lots of people going to go? How many bangers does she have? I know. It's expensive to be mad. Ah, 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 ah. Pat the puss. No, that's not really a song. I don't think. Pat the puss. Pat the puss. Laugh and pat the top. And roll to the left and pat the top. And roll and pat. And roll. roll. Very well pat. done. Pay the victims back. Pay the victims back. I Let me know what you guys think, but I was like, mm, I'll probably skip it. I'll pro I'm probably going to be busy. I'm going to be unwashing my hair. All right, you guys, that is it for the Bravo Breakdown with Jolene. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Let me know all your thoughts, feelings, hopes, dreams, and opinions in the comments below. I'll be back tomorrow night with a recap of tonight's episode of Vanderpump Rules. So happy Vanderpump Rules, new episode night. Make sure you follow me on social media at Jolene Lunzer on TikTok and Instagram, and also at married the number two Bravo on Instagram, where I'm almost at 10,000 followers. Again, at Jolene Lunzer and at married the number two Bravo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. We're so close to 30 thousand subs. I take care of yourself and always remember to enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. See you soon. Bye. If you like what you see, come and get it with me. I know you deserve all you want. I have never seen a grown man drink squirt so much. Every picture, every paparazzi shot we get of Tom Sandy Butt, he is drinking a squirt. I don't know anyone besides alleged serial killers and that's it. And me in 1996 when they came out with Ruby Red Squirts, who drinks squirt or drink squirt this regularly. Please put it in the chat. I'm always asking about that because I think this is just a huge red flag. I didn't even know they were still making squirt. It's called squirt and it is the most acidic soda or pop as we call it in the Midwest that you can drink. It literally eats your intestines and he's drinking it every day. So something's going on. Something is going on. Maybe this is his problem. Maybe the squirt made him do it. I've never known someone to be like, hey, I just, you know, saved a cat from a burning building, won a gold medal in Olympics, all because I drank squirt. It's more like, hey, I may have someone in my basement who doesn't want to be there and you can barely walk in my home because it's full of sharpened pencils. Just look into the squirt because there's a lot of a lot of squirt and there's like no shame in Tom Sandy Butt's squirt game and I feel like there should be a little shame.